Welcome to the podcast on how to import BGP template data into your active course shell. So we're going to start from the beginning and we're going to log into your MyBGSU account. So we're here at bgsu.edu. Click on MyBGSU. Um, put in your username and password. And then once you get to MyBGSU, click on Canvas and you should come to your dashboard. All of your classes should show up on your user dashboard. Um, for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go to one of my old courses um, to show you how to import um, information from a template into your active shell. Um, you will not be ever importing anything into the template. You will only be importing into your active shell. So if this was um, my current class of sports nutrition, with my students in it, I would be opening that. So whatever your BGP class is, whether it's a sociology class or a pop culture class, whatever your BGP class is, that's what you open up. The one that has all your students and your grades and your files and all of that, that's what you open up and you go down to settings. After you click on settings over on the right, you're going to go to import content into this course. You're going to click on that. And from there, you'll come up to um, content type and you're going to select the first one, which is copy a Canvas course. We're going to search for a course. So for the purposes of um, this example, since I don't teach a BGP course um, and I'm importing into one of my courses, we'll just do it this way, but I'm going to import um, B Jero 1010 BGP. And sometimes it takes a couple seconds for these to load, so be patient. Once you type it, it might take, I don't know, 10 to 30 seconds for things to load, so just be patient. But if you put in whatever course you're teaching, SOCH 1010, uh, Math 1150, whatever the case may be, and you put BGP after it, um, the template should show up. We're, if you're teaching at Firelands, you're going to click on the Firelands template. If you're teaching on the main campus, it'll just be the one that says BGP template. So for main campus, I want this one. Then I'm going to click on all content. The template should only have the assignment that was in the BGP proposal. It shouldn't have extra syllabi or assignments or quizzes or anything else. The only thing you should be importing is the assignment, like a, a placeholder to have in the grade book, and then the rubric with the learning outcomes that you will be assessing. And then you just hit import. You can see down here it's already starting to run. Since you're importing such a small amount of data or information, it usually doesn't take very long for this to get put into your class. As you can see, we've already got the green light. It's completed. And now we just want to check to make sure it's there. So I come over here to my Assignments tab. I click on it. And here it is, BGP Assignment. That's what I've imported. Now you can see it's already published. If I don't want my students to see it yet, I can click the button and unpublish it. Um, people sometimes wait till the end of the semester to publish this link for this assignment um, because they don't want the students to say, hey, what's this extra assignment? What's this doing here? Because it's just those learning outcomes. That's totally up to you. Um, usually this assignment is something that's done at the end of the semester. Um, so it, it doesn't need to be published all semester. It can be, like I said, uh, publishing that is up to you. Once you import it from the template, though, you may want to just double check to see whether it's published or not, um, just because it'll show up in your grade book. Once it is published, the students will notice it and they may ask questions. If you haven't um, reminded them throughout the semester that this is a BGP course and that they will be being assessed on BGP learning outcomes, um, they might be surprised as to why it's there. There are no points associated with this assessment because it's just learning outcomes. Um, so it will not affect their grade per se, but they probably will still question why it's there. Um, there is another tutorial 
available on this resource page about how to use the rubric and we'll get more into um, how to use the rubric in that uh, video and about the data points associated with it. Thank you.